I want to talk with you today about free ways to do prospect research. When you're doing your free research, start with the name, continue to work through that area until you get to the wedding and funeral announcements. When you get to wedding and funeral announcements, you will often find leads that you never expected. It is amazing how often I have read obituaries and thought to myself, I had no idea they were even related. It is often in a wedding or obituary announcement where I find an existing relationship that I am able to leverage in order to move things forward with that particular prospect. Another area of free research that you want to do is whitepages.com. Whitepages.com provides you oftentimes with a middle initial. If a common name is, is the prospect you're looking for, you know, something like Marie Smith or Bob Jones, you may find many people with that name in your city. Whitepages.com allows you to narrow down the name of the person that you're looking for. And oftentimes on White Pages, you will also find relatives' names. Again, the opportunity to identify a spouse or identify even a sibling or a child who may be able to connect that prospect to your organization. There is also another place that is a little farther downstream that I want you to look, and that's at the Foundation Center. When you visit fdncenter.org, there is a pull down called Find Funding, and underneath that particular pull down, you can search 990s. If you have come to believe that your prospect has a private foundation, that is where you can find the private foundation and the information on that foundation, fdncenter.org. Make sure you look in PDFs of other not-for-profits. So when you Google what the name and you see, oh, that's the homeless shelter down the street or that's the Humane Society, what, what relevance could be there? There is relevance. Oftentimes within those PDFs, they list donor names by giving level. If the prospect you're looking for is only giving $100 a year to an organization where he also sits on the board, that should send you a message that even for organizations where he's very involved, he's not making a very robust gift. On the other hand, in those PDFs, you often can also find stories and more, than, more importantly than anything else, you identify interest. You also identify other relationships. So let's say you have decided to pursue your prospect. Now within this PDF, you see an existing board member from your organization. Now you know who to call in order to connect you with your new prospect. You can find more tips just like these at my website, miraclestrategies.com or at thegiving.net. Thank you so much and we look forward to answering your questions in the future.